Bring them on in. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. Joey D, Mikey V, where would you be? <laughs> Bear down. <laughs> the hat. We're this back, is... baby. We're back, baby. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back. We got the... somebody who's got a brain. We got somebody with half a brain up in Hallis <laughs> Hall these days. Finally. Thank God. Finally. Somebody doing the right thing by me, by us, by all of Chicago. Finally. Fire. Is that how oh, Joe? Gonna... You got the dog, Joe. Oh, hey, poochie, 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 poochie. Doesn't my no, Dre Dre? I have a great, I have a great dog voice because when you have kids, you automatically have like that. Uh, hey, little poochie, poochie, poochie. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, uh, Mikey? Doesn't the dog kind of look like Joey D? Like, no, not. It, I know that there's no way for that to sound good. There's no way for that to sound good. Yeah, but what you know what I'm talking about, mean. Bob. So I, in the movie, I that love sounds you, man. So bad. Well, in I guess movie, it's not great. In the movie, I Love You, Man, they called people who had dogs that look like them Bowsers. So I guess that would be Joey's Bowser. And he does it. You know, Joe, with the dark beard and the, the jowls sometimes, it might it might Jowls? Like, you, oh, well, Mike, can no, 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 use no, a better I word jowl, than jowls, No, no, I don't mean jowls. Michael. I mean, like, sometimes when Joe is hungover, but he's not hungover, we know Joe doesn't get hungover. But sometimes when Joe's been on, like, a long trip or something, he gets, you know, I get the dark circles bad. I get them I will bad. tell you, I've been as close to his hangover in Jacksonville, Florida, after just an absolute bender of a night for Bob's birthday. We mm. got after mm. it, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. I, That's what I you was, were supposed to do. I was on the way to the Jacksonville airport <laughs> the next morning. How I got up for that flight is a mystery. The entire flight. I had to throw up in the Uber. It, there's no Ugh. worse feeling than having to hold no. off throwing up. That's got to be up there with some of the worst feelings in the world. Getting the See, wind knocked out of you is up there. Too. at all costs. See, I don't mind pulling the trigger. Never have, never will. Yeah, Bob is a trigger guy. He's a rally guy. He's always said that. that he'll, puke, <laughs> he, he'll puke and rally. He's got well, no issue with that. Me well, no, no, I I'll, cannot stand the, I cannot stand vomiting. Like I yeah, literally, I, I, will resist I would rather do love anything it. else than throw up. Well, I'd rather I'll, do anything else. I will puke. I just won't rally. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't mind puking, but as long as the puke is on my own terms, as long as I'm deciding, like when I pull the trigger, no problem. When it's a case of I have to throw up and I'm not pulling the trigger, I'm just throwing up, mm. then that's where I have the issue with throwing up. Does that make sense, Mikey? Uh, not really. But um, Does that, no, no, you, I, no, I, you're not a rally guy. You're not a never rally have guy. Never have been, but I am yeah, a puke no, that's guy. Fine. I will not puke and rally. Well, there... There was the infamous Joey D night out. Of I mean, Bob, we're gonna go back that. to this one, oh, this Mikey. one time, Mikey. I've known the guy for six years or five Mikey. years, and one time I had a bad night, and he never fails to remind me of it. It's like, how many nights have we gone out? Hundreds, thousands. Well, you know, you're and right. People, my, my friends do the night. same thing though. Like, I'll have one night in like takes. four years where like I'll throw up because I just was. And and that happened the night the Bears drafted Justin Fields. I had like Jesus I had, Christ. I had, I had like twenty five. I had like twenty guys over the house in the old house in the cave, and they drafted Fields. And then it was blackout city after that. And then I got <laughs> you know my buddy sending me pictures. They built like a cone, uh, like a cup pyramid on my head, like stacking up to the sky. <laughs> had to get carried upstairs. Yeah, I mean not that my finest hour, but you know what? Here we are, and uh, I shook it off. But yeah, people don't forget. People Joey don't forget Dave, those. Do me a favor. If you could tilt the camera up, and for the folks watching on YouTube, could you put the dog next to you just so we could see what we're talking about? Because I do what think it it got to disturb it's, that poor dog. Bob. It's the eerily, dog is it's eerily oh, similar. It's yeah, he, <laughs> oh, he is cute. Though, am I wrong? Is it he or is she? It's 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 a boy. His name's Dre. Am, am I wrong? Am I wrong, Dre. Mikey V? Do you see no, it? it's a, that's a Bowser. That's a Bowser, 100%. <laughs> that's a Bowser. But, the, Joe, that's a good look, though. I mean, honestly. The dog is I always... I tell you what, it makes you cognizant for the first time of, like, just not being by yourself and having to take care of yourself. You got to take care of another person. Well, but not now, another person. Now we're... But, now we're... Now we're losing you on the on the camera there, Joey. We're live D. on the cutsy crotch cam. Yeah, yeah. It's full... Cr just give that a little tilt up there, Joey D. Okay. There, there he we is. Go. There, there he we is. Go. There's our guy. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm um, having to readjust. Now, I, gotta, I gotta jump in immediately with something. And Joe, you know where I'm gonna go with this. Uh, something that was discussed this previous week. I'd like to open the floor to new business. Uh, new business, new business. 
Uh, I think our friend Bob Joe has a, has a problem. I think he's got a problem. Uh, and plan I only see what would you guys plan this? Do you guys had a discussion? Yeah, prior we had about a discussion. It? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. go ahead. I, I, by the so, way, I have no I, idea what's coming. That's fine. Um, I believe, and Joe, you, you know, you you're gonna have to back me on this one. I think Bob, you're reaching the point right now in your life with with everything that you have going on oh, and geez, all of us are busy we know this you know i i don't need to read the laundry list of things that keep me occupied every <laughs> single day um but i think bob is in need of a personal i think bob has to reach in his pockets and he's got to pay a personal assistant bob needs a <laughs> bob needs a personal assistant like like i'm trying to think of of like a show or a movie where someone walked around with like someone who followed him with like a little book all oh day come on the <laughs> I'm being, bob i'm being dead serious well, yes, yes, Ari Gold with the, with the Asian man. Yeah, yeah, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Right, yeah. You need a Lloyd. Bob. <laughs> you need a Lloyd for what? The, but but for what? Ah, uh, well, like like. Don't, don't, give me one. Excuse I'll me. I'll be. The, that's not necessarily a bad thing, Bob. It means that you're getting bigger and you're growing. There's a lot going yeah, on. But you know I what, don't know if Bob's the way he's saying it is a bad thing. I, it's, no, I see I'm what not you're saying, saying, but the way he's saying it is is, is in a negative connotation. I don't I think know it, it if it stems Bob's from the missed, fully... the missed phone call for the for we had a very important we won't go into to, to details a very important business call that was set a week in advance <laughs> it went on all the Zoom calendars everybody was aware and this is by the way this is not a small phone call this is a this is a potential I would say it's a, yeah it's a potential large opportunity phone call. yeah yeah and we you know I got excited this was the day of the phone call this was supposed to be Friday. And so I sent a text to the Gamblers Anonymous, the Gamblers, Di Gamblers, <laughs> Gamblers Digest. Not. And I <laughs> <laughs> it might as well, it might as well hey, be yeah, Gamblers Anonymous. That's why I was going to let it roll. I was just gonna, anyways, I digress. I bad. sent a message to the Gamblers Digest. It was around like, I don't know, Mike, it was at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I sent a yeah, message. It went like, something like this, boys. Today, boys. Big call today. Big call today. Yeah, big call today. And out of the woodwork, Bob goes, Sorry, boys, gonna have to back out of this one. I'm on the. He didn't see he was on the golf course. No, he didn't. Don't have no, to he didn't. Sure, sure, I did. Well, not at I, first. Not until you I messaged, prompted. I messaged Barry. I'm like, he's got to be at the golf course. And it turns out he was at Medalist. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild, Bob. I thought you had like a serious engagement. It turns out it was not a serious <laughs> engagement. <Bear. laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I I said I was fair. at a place. Did I say I was at a place where I can't take a call? Which, that's, which that's is true. A, that's exactly what you said. Yeah, I think okay. that's exactly what you said. You know so what? I thought I'm thinking Bob is like recording a movie <laughs> or, or a show or something because that is not out of the realm of possibility these days. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Get out of here. But all I'm saying is that Bob number <laughs> one is not the most technologically inclined person to begin with. That's number one. That's fair, wait, Bob. Would you say that? Wait, what do you mean technological? Like, oh, oh, like, like, tech like a techie guy. Totally agree. Totally agree. Okay. Now I don't like sending, I don't like setting those calendar reminder things either. Um, so I try to keep it all in my head, but I'm also much more like anal, uh, like about everything. I'm very much like if I'm not regimented on routine, I'm just a total sociopath. Like I can't have idle time. Everyone knows that. I just can't. I need to be like, boom, boom, boom. I know what I'm doing. And if God forbid I'm going to be late or if God forbid something's got to change, like I'm on top of that. Like I'll have a nervous breakdown. I just can't. Have... Bob is more, he's kind of goes with the flow very well. But at the same time, I do think he needs a little man chasing him around with a little, <laughs> camp, with a little booklet. I mean, it could be a little woman too. Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. True. Absolutely. Um, can I respond? Yeah, of yeah. course. It's your show. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear that. Now, look. What I said. <laughs> I, I truly, I truly thought that I would be able to take the call from the course. And the second that I got onto the course, I realized pretty fast that was not going to be the case. That there would be no FaceTimes or or whatnot on the course. With that being said. I'm I'm wearing that and I'm hand up that one's on because yeah messages. I don't have After, a like we got a picture from the 12th fairway at Medalist with with the geo tag he goes I thought phones weren't allowed at the golf course see you know what's sick is when I that's play, wild Bob it's a wild play when I did if you're gonna say you're gonna go on radio silence you gotta go on radio <laughs> silence you you're can't right. just I, I I can't see a text message 10 minutes later that's a little preposterous. <laughs> There's nothing worse than knowing there's a side conversation going on about you. And when I had to cancel it, I knew 
that there would be a side conversation. Well, here's the thing, be- though. Here's the thing, Bob. Is like, and this is what I said to Baron. If you had me- if you had messaged us like a it's couple a days stop. or even a day before, be like, yeah. boys, I just found out there's no call. Like, I can't be on the phone. This is metalist. It's a top tier golf course. I would have had no problem with it because we could have responded to him it the night like before. But the fact that it was two hours prior to the the call that was anticipated, and I. My thought process is you weren't even aware of the call until I messaged. This could be a full area That's of grievances correct. episode. Maybe we should go in that direction. We what Joe said is each other. Here's the thing is Bob what Joe said the, is correct. Bob, Bob is a good guy to the point where he wouldn't brush it off. No. If he knew about it, no, he would have been like, no, guys, no, no. I can't make the call. But that just goes to your point. You had no idea the call was there until I Needs sent the text. Joe sent the text, big call today, boys. Today, <laughs> big call today. <laughs> yeah, and when I like, saw that text, I literally read it in Joe's voice because, like, that's such a Joey D line. You know like, now, Mikey V, by the way, I can't say anything. I have people in my DM saying, oh, Mikey V impression coming soon. Or No, no, no. I mean, it's out of control. The impressions by are the way, organic, organic experiences. By the way, I, I will – the beauty of Bear Down's impression is – Bear Down never has gone out and been like says that he's an impressionist. It's always just something that he's done. The I'm one an, he I'm did not of an me, impressionist. But the one he's done of of Jerry Don, the one he's done of Joe, the one he did of me, which I'm gonna yeah, have you just make the that ticket play. Oh. It, it, well, 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 yeah, but he's got he's got more to offer. Don't you want to know what the Bears are gonna do with the seventh <laughs> round draft pick and the yeah, don't the Bears, you, <laughs> you swear they won the Super Bowl this week, Bob, because this guy went on a tangent. Dear Lord, it well, is. I mean, no. listen, this it's, was the, that was the biggest day in the last twenty years for the it's, franchise. It's bro. go come on. It's go I don't know about that. You is had, it? You I mean you would know, of but... Soldier Field. Dick Buckus, and then this week in terms of no, Bears. I mean, listen, they went to the Super Bowl less than 20 years ago. But besides that, and, and going to the NFC title game in 2010, this was the biggest moment in the last there's, 20 years. There's going, there's going to come a day, and I mm. thoroughly look forward to it. There is going to be a day where Bear Down is going to beat Adam Schefter. He's going to beat all of these guys to a top tier story. And <laughs> I have that in to... the works right now. I'm telling it, you. It's I'm telling you, you think you have a story, Mikey V. I think I have I, that that Jets tweet I sent on Saturday went like full blown. It's got over half a million views but, on Twitter. But it's, it's, that, like, but, that's a but, legit but, lead. But that's Mikey, a legit does lead. that does that mean <laughs> yeah. that you were first to this breaking the story? Uh huh. Nobody else had that story. Are, do if you that know story that comes to fruition, yes, I, I love that comes to fruition, no from. one. It, I can't say where I got it from, but you I got, got it from. I got it from as reliable of a source as there is to the Jets, as reliable as it comes directly from the team itself. Of Gary Vaynerchuk, from the team itself. I can't say who it is, Bob. I will not say who it is, out of respect. I won't say Bill who it is. Bill Parcells. But I'm going to say this. Yes, the not. rumor <laughs> is, the rumor is, now Aaron Rodgers is jerking everybody off. We know that the, Aaron Rodgers is just being a wild, and I got the phone out just in case this guy decides to actually tell people what he wants to do. But as of right now, free agency open today at noon on Monday, March 13th. It's now 8 p.m. Nothing out of Aaron Rodgers. Nobody knows. And by the way, the Packers and the Jets haven't done anything in free agency because they're wondering what the hell this jackass is going to do. Yeah. Number two, I said, Bob, that I have a source, a reliable source that said, not only are the Jets convinced that they're getting Aaron Rodgers, that it's a done deal, basically. But in addition, there is going to be a game changing player on top of Rodgers, not necessarily from the Packers, that is going to be coming to the Jets as well. But do you that have a game changing player? Because I would say, in order to break the story, though, you would have to say, wouldn't you agree that you would have to be one of the first ones to be on the story? Wouldn't you have to say who that player is? No, because the, even the source doesn't know who the player Well, the uh, source wasn't well, revealed. It sounds who like the you need was. a new source. No, I can't. <laughs> he can't do that. He's going to jeopardize his position. He can't do that. Uh, that's understandable. Mikey V will beat one of these big guys to a story one day, and it will yes. be fucking hysterical. They just, the thing with Mikey V, he doesn't he doesn't put himself out there to be an impressionist, but then he can go ahead and he can knock down each of us to it. The one he did of me, I thought was unbelievable. It was. I'd rather good. just be a guy of of many of many things than like narrow you know back myself into a corner. I like Mike, to just you know what you're like. Friend. You're like Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat. You got a that lot of things means, going on. 
absolutely nothing okay, to me. Okay. And Mikey, I'm curious if it means anything to you. <laughs> it means nothing to me, but it sounds what? okay. Joe, what is Joseph in the that? Technicolor dream coat? Now that's is a reference. That, is that Joe? a movie reference, Joe? It's like, yeah, it's out of a out of a play. <laughs> <laughs> Joey D is cultured, though, is he not? It's out of a play. Now he's Joey Screenwrites over here. It's no good. other people would know what I'm it's referencing. A, he he has an insane. Joe's going to the Tony of... Awards this year. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be the way, red Mike, carpet at you, the Tonys. Did you watch the Oscars last night, Mikey? Oh, no, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> get the we fuck don't out of here! Talk about. I that. had to ask because really I know you I, I, that one movie won all the that uh, everything everything always. all at once. I am gonna watch that movie. My wife want, Holly wants to watch that movie. I am gonna watch that movie with her because she did ask uh, this past weekend, and I was like, uh, I don't. Want, I'm gonna watch that movie. I'm gonna watch, and then we uh, will not be boy, recommending it to Bob. Our boy Ryan Clark says that new Brendan Fraser movie, The Whale. He won it's best fantastic. actor for it. He says it's unbelievable, but I don't know if I could watch a movie where Brendan Fraser just pays, plays an 800-pound guy. The whole it, movie. It is, it I'm is a little very, uncomfortable watching that. It's a very, very tough watch, but it is a you great You saw movie. it? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And by the way, I was so happy that he won best best actor. I mean, I heard he did that a guy has job. gone through. That guy's gone through the rigmarole. He loved him in The Mummy. He was great oh. in The Mummy. Love, He's been uh, through movie, it, though, dude. Great movie. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. Joe, you, know, uh, you got to get, you know, Joe, we got to get you a microphone, man. Yeah, we got to get do. you a mic. We need, yeah, we need a mic. We got to find a whole new laptop set up because I think when I was Studio? in Mexico, I wanted to watch... <laughs> The, the game pass and I download it. And I fuck got water off, on by it. the way, Mike. I'm sorry, Joe, but fuck off. He's busting my balls about the studio. Bob again. needed to get his balls broken a little bit this week, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong, Joey D? But you know what, though? You know what, Mikey? If I had any leg to stand on, I would stand on it. I was accountable for it. I a hand up. Hey, you listen, one thing about us is that there is an ability, an innate ability for us to text each other, call each other, and give us the real truth, the hard hitting truth that you have to either accept or you don't. Bob called me the other night or texted me the other night. He said, Mike, listen, I gotta I gotta suggest this one thing. Yeah. He goes, if, if you take me as an asshole, you take and he said something, and I said, you know what, Bob, you're right. I said, You're right. Do you want to tell wow. him? Then, no, no, but, I, but, but you could tell him what I said, no. Well, I came back at a Twitter troll. He can't, <laughs> Mikey. Yeah, he and Bob can't help and Bob him. said it was a bad look for the brand. But in my no, opinion, no, no, I didn't. Did I say the brand? I don't know. No, if not I said the, brand. the brand. No, you said it's a bad look, and I said I, I could see that. I te- yeah. no, no. Well, first I said I, te- I could see that. I texted him. I said, Mikey, because he's going back at it because people are doubting his source. <laughs> I wasn't going back for, at him that he, much. Bob. You, you I sure said one were. thing. I said he, you have contacts in the league. That's what I said. <laughs> people, that's what people, I said. People were going at him for his jet source on the story that he was breaking with the source. Which is <laughs> ridiculous. And maybe, uh, usually when a troll comes at you, though, it is ridiculous. And Mikey V couldn't help himself, so Mikey no, V was going I back couldn't. at him. It was a long Mikey, night. I said, just do me a favor. You're never going to win. Just just let it go. Just just let it go. You're never going to win. He goes, he responds, he goes, but Bob, it was a credible source. <laughs> I said, I said Mike, it was. It but you see, this matter. is the problem, is before we had this, this show, well, not before you guys did, but before we all came together on this show and before we were all under this beautiful umbrella that is the Brilliantly Dumb Show and Bob Does Sports and all this, before all of this, 
I was put, I was, you know, I was, I made my bones with NFL news. That's what I was doing for years. That's literally all I was doing. So when someone comes at me with my credibility, it it aggravates me a little bit because for (laughs) five years years leading up to this, this is what I was doing. What? You got so much versatility now though. That's a good people, thing. I don't think people know the backstory sometimes. They, they just think I came on here and I started fucking wearing a robe and imitating <laughs> yeah. Bob. That's just the bonus of what you get. That's not really everything that I've done and that I've and you got the only with. subs. Only subs are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> only subs are on fire. I love fucking only subs is fun, man. Bobby had it's fun. Bear down it. By the way, Bear, I've been tallying Bear down and he's been doing well. And he had one day where I, I don't know, I didn't tally him and he, he had a bad day. I, I had Arizona Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. What do you mean, I, ta- I what, do you mean ta- what do you mean you're tallying them? Like I'm he's riding like, his pick. Track- I normally like, wasn't track- for a long he's, he's time. Tailing. He's tailing. He's tailing me. Oh, he's tailing. oh, tailing. oh I got yeah. you. Tailing me. Yeah. But I wasn't for a long time because he was on such a hot streak. I didn't want to be like the bad juju that, but which is very respectful. But he hopped in. He hopped in, and we still won. Like we won another like three bets in a row before we lost. So it was not Joey D. It By the not, way, you know, Mike know... had a bad day, Bob. So he goes I on, a, one on a story I did. for the only subs, and he goes, "Yeah, not my day today, but uh, this is a brotherhood. And we are <laughs> brothers. We <laughs> are." By the way, only subs. The these people. Let me explain some. The voiceless and the only subs are special because you know how many DMs I got people supporting that message. <laughs> they were like they were like Mikey V. They're like you've made me so much money, Mikey V. We won so many. You can't win them all, Mikey V. This is a brotherhood. This is so much fun. Two ninety nine a month. People are charging it's, it's handicappers. Handicappers out there are charging thousands of dollars for picks. Literally, well, this is supposed I will to be say, for fun. Mikey, it's supposed to be for fun. You and I think we're. I think we're meant to be from like a different era. I really oh, 100%. do. percent. A hundred percent, Joe. I agree. I agree. What era are you? What era are you from, Joe? I don't know, Bob. I just all I know is that actually we're... Joe may be from the future. Yeah, <laughs> he could be from the future. <laughs> I can't see. That's another problem with impersonations. This is why I don't like to ever brand myself as or go that route because when I think in my head, I really would like to say I'm being honest. Every time now that that yeah. enters my brain, but it's... I just feel like I have to say I'm being honest. I'm being Mikey, honest you because know, it's such a Joe trademark phrase now that like I legitimately don't want to say it in conversation. It, it's it's another... the same thing one with special, how Bob says special. I try not to describe things as special. I find myself in everyday life not trying to describe things as special because I don't want to. It's just all I think of is Bob saying it. It's say fucking it. fucked up. Man. Say it as Bob. It's special. It's special. <laughs> <laughs> it's special. Look, it's another it's another weapon in the it's arsenal dimension. and Mikey yeah, V yeah, can come dimension. at you from all angles. I even think my favorite Mikey V content is the unboxing. When he does the unboxing, oh, it's the yeah. funniest shit. He hits you from all angles. Um first right, boys, golf you... lesson Saturday, Bob. Now that's interesting. Yes. Now that's very interesting. What's that? Like a, a like I have a, my like first a, lesson on Saturday, Joe. Like a course pro? Yes. Good for you. Up through through Fubi Lou. I don't want to develop bad habits. I've heard if you develop bad habits, that's that's a major You're looking at a couple bad habits yeah. right here. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. Well, bad that's habits what I'm, I'm right trying here. to avoid that, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But well, I'm excited about that. Let's get into our buy and sell segment. We got actually a lot to get into out of the gate here. Um, buy or sell, and then Joey D's top five was the right top five that you're going to see on later in the show. We got buy or sell. Yeah. We got Bobby Blockbusters. We got top five to get into. Joey D, buy or sell. We're going to start with you. Buy or sell the segment. What did you like that you saw? What did you not like? It's over to you, Joey D. Uh, I know you didn't watch the Oscars, Mike V. I, I but if you did. You would be right on cue with me on this. Okay. I am selling Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, this guy, I and by the way, I want to go on the record and say I am a Jimmy Kimmel guy. Like, if it comes to, like, one of the late shows, like, that would be the show that I would normally watch. That is, I think he's normally very good. I feel like he is just past his moment. He was out there last night. It was like they programmed a robot. The guy looked like he had been through the gauntlet he looked exhausted tired he was trying to put jokes out there that were political and not funny and just dude i just i was watching it i was like this guy used to be so good at what he does and now it just looks like he's just out there like they're just paying him by the hour the the guy is just like i don't know maybe i'm tough on him but i watched it last night i i could have sworn it was just like 
regurgitated like he was reading a script. It was so bad. It was not enjoyable. And and you know what? Quite frankly, I, I, I expect more out of the guy. I am selling Jimmy Kimmel. I think, you know, some of these late night show hosts, like unless it's Johnny Carson, they have their time. And then it's like, like, look at, look at what's his name. Conan O'Brien used to be so good. Where is Conan O'Brien now? Like these guys have a shelf life. They're like running backs. Like they only last for so long to the, where they really hit like on all the, on all the levels. And then after a while, it just gets old. It's like, it's, it's time for a new gig. Give me somebody new. Jimmy Kimmel out with the old and with the new. Sell them. <laughs> There really a go. scathing review on Jimmy Kimmel. Man. I know it's funny too because we all said that we weren't going to bash anybody moving forward. But like, yeah, we no. we, we yeah, I mean, I gave him kudos. I I didn't see it, so I can't. I mean, I know Mike and I said he didn't see it either. I will totally rely on the comments um for to see if people are on board with that with Joey D or not again because I just did not see it. Um, I I think we'll go last with Mikey V. I'll I'll step up next. I'm going to buy Hezbollah. Um, oh, no, no. <laughs> are you really? No, 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 I'm not uh, gonna buy his bull. I'm not gonna buy his bull. Um, but I did see him a lot, by the way. And I agree with you, Mikey, and you sold it at the time. And I think Dana White's an unbelievable promoter, I really do. As you know, I love the UFC now more than yes. ever. Um, I did watch a little bit of that power slap. I, I can't do it. No, and no. you sold it. Did am I wrong? Didn't you sell it a, a yeah, couple weeks yeah. ago? I can't yeah. watch it. it it's it's tough to watch, and they had oh, um, Hezbollah there. Um, <laughs> but my buy, by far, and I might have mentioned them before, but I took the flight with them recently, not even close. I think the best commercial airline, give me JetBlue all day long. Show me another airline that has free Wi-Fi that always works. Having the Wi-Fi on the plane now you could put me on a six-hour flight. You give me Wi-Fi, uh, no problem. I'll, I'll cruise through the flight because I'm doing what I'm doing anyway. I'm on the phone the entire time. Like, I'm always going to be on the phone. Um, JetBlue not only gives you free Wi-Fi, which nobody else does, they also have a little – in every JetBlue flight, they give you snacks for free. So after they give you service on the snacks, you can go up, and in the window, you could just by all means just take whatever snacks you want – which you don't get anywhere else. They got to have the most leg room. They're the most comfortable seat around. The only thing with JetBlue is they don't have as many flights, which I would rather them have the quality that they have and limited flights than them trying to do more flights and then they lose how good they are. And they haven't done that. I think JetBlue is far and away better than any other airline out there. Buy JetBlue over to Mikey V. Yeah, I mean, I could easily buy my my GM for the Bears this week. It would be an easy buy, to be honest. But I'm not I'm not here for to play easy. They I'm did get a to, ton to really for do that some pick. thinking. They, they got a ton they did, as they should have. Um, I'm gonna sell this story that I I keep hearing about, and I got to come home from work, and I have to hear about it from my wife, and I have to hear about it from people at work, and I have to hear about it for, on the internet. I have to hear about it in my feed. I've been hearing about this for fucking, it seems like it's been a month. I'm sure it's only been a couple of weeks. I don't know about it personally, but this show, the Vanderpump rules, this drama, this, this scandal that, and apparently the scandal is somebody cheated on somebody that that's the scandal that somebody, how is that an earth shattering scandal to the level at which, and my wife tried to explain it to me. She was like, no, 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 you don't understand. You know, it's it's got all these layers to it. And I said, I thought the the amount of coverage that this scandal is receiving, you would thought a president was assassinated. That's how deep the coverage is running for this scandal for the Vanderpump rules. I've seen it everywhere, everywhere. And those shows stink to begin with. Number one, they stink, those shows. OK, they, they're they're mindless drivel. I've said before, I don't really like reality shows. I don't really watch them. Okay, they're not my cup of tea, but I could see how some of them, like I like the ones like maybe like like where people actually display talent, like they cook. Like, like Kardashians? No, not like the Kardashians. No. Okay. No. Right. Like the Star Iron on. Chef, like Best Chef, like the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the dessert cake make. People with real talent. Oh, Buddy <laughs> buddy, buddy, the Cake Boss? Yeah, something like Love that. Love him. Something okay. Okay, something like that, where you have to display real skill, not just following around pretty people that just, they, they just, no offense to pretty people. I mean, I, I, you know, good for you. But 
these shows are just and for it to reach the level that it reached with all this drama, I just don't get it, man. I'm selling it. I don't want to hear about Vanderpump Rules ever again. I don't want to hear about. I hope it goes away. I hope the scandal sinks the whole show. I hope they cancel the show. Half the shows on Bravo need to get canceled anyway. Half the people think that people from New Jersey are jerk offs anyway because of the Real Housewives. Like it's just it's total nonsense, bro. It's just nonsense. I don't know. I don't you know. know. I guess is, what Mikey. we do is sort of like uh, I don't know. I guess our banter people probably look at it the same way, but I feel like at least we we discuss the hard hitting issues sometimes, like Hasbula and Joe Driver. <laughs> like that's hard hitting. That's more hard hitting than a cheating. Somebody cheating on agree. somebody. Look, like, you don't fucking gotta... happens every fucking five minutes. The reality series that will never be matched. That will right. never come close. Jersey Shore, the first season of the Jersey oh. Shore, will go down as the most iconic season in any real, and nothing will ever be it matched to that. It was the best thing ever. It was the best thing ever. Um, yeah, of all time. And by the way, the Vanderpump have a restaurant in L.A. Um, and I know we said we're not bashing people, but the food stinks. And I just want to throw that out here. I know there we said go. we're not going to go. overprice it like it is, Bob. The food. Because you probably got people that you just saved a lot of money that are listening to the show and they're like, you know what? I always wish I ate at that restaurant just because it's on yeah. television. Now Bob just saved you a couple bucks. Yo, do you sticks. remember when I let when I let a fart out on the dance floor when we were dancing? Everybody was dancing there and they cleared the entire. It was like Chernobyl, was man. Like, my it, was like it, was, it was one of the, the the girl that I was seeing the girl that I was seeing at the time. It was earth shattering. It cleared the dad. Floor. So we're not talking about we're not just talking about volume. We're talking about stench as well. Oh no, my but Bob has bad. these silent but deadly farts. You never hear. Oh, them you're one, an SPD, but Bob. They stink the highest hell. Yeah. So like when Bob rips, it's like Bobby blast off. Like, I don't know. He works that. out. Yeah. He, he's a clean living guy. But you'd think that like a possum is rotting on his insides when he barks. It is bad, bro. It's bad. Now I let out I let out rippers. I let out rippers. <laughs> oh, the ripper. Oh, Mr. Nestle, the ripper. Nobody's gonna know what we're talking about with the Where did that come from, Bob? That was it was when we were doing the live stream. Um, we were doing the oh, live stream on the Sunday night game. Oh, and, right. I and let Bob out was on a Bob was on an edible, and he was just talking gibberish, watching the light. Now, mind you, Joe, I'm in the zone. I'm trying to track all the stats. I'm doing the fucking the the fucking leg work, the heavy lifting, as always. Perez is sitting next to me. He's somewhat trying to pay attention, looked, also. And Bob is just sitting in the corner. Bob's sitting in the corner, laughing hysterically. Not paying attention to a goddamn thing, but if the by the way, that three pick did hit. It did uh, hit. if it didn't hit, I would have heard about it. But meanwhile, he's in the corner, like curled up in a ball, laughing hysterically. He's on one and he just lets out a huge he just ripping farts and he goes, Oh, and the Dickie V farts, oh another ripper. Are you serious? <laughs> by the way, I could tell you that pick, Mikey V. That pick was <laughs> Najee Harris rushing attempts. Tyree Kill catches. Jesus Christ, Joe, you're just and I don't know what the third one was. The that, was the Steelers, Steelers, Dolphins. that was Sanders. That was Steelers it was, Dolphins. It was though. Sanders, right. the kicker, over one the kicker, and a half. Right? Oh, I love the kicking props. Yeah. And that. the Yankees. Mikey, he loves them some kicking props. The Yankees were down 3 0 against the Astros, and we didn't give a shit. We, were, we refused to watch it because it was just, yeah. it, it made yeah, it was sick. painful. You were watching it, on the side, Bob. I remember. Yeah, we had it on. Yeah, we had yeah. on the bar TV. Yeah, yeah it was. Shit, though. By the way, three to one, and you. See I know them. nobody wants to hear me talk about it, but Anthony Volpe, the future of the New York Yankees, big friend of the program. That is my pride and joy. And you Good know what? Anthony. He might be the one player I would ever ask to sign something for me. Like I'm not a big autograph guy by any means. You wouldn't ask Aaron Judge. I would ask Aaron Judge. Yeah, he would. He would. Yeah, he would. yeah, I would. You but have but to. really. But really, to go out of my way and risk being like that annoying guy, I think a, a, something autographed from Anthony Volpe at this point in his career would be worth taking that risk. And I hope he's listening to the program the same way as Bull is listening to the program. Because at some <laughs> point, I got to I gotta ask. Now, with that being said, uh, fellas, Bobby Blockbusters. <laughs> This was this was a Joey D special, Mikey. I I wanted to text you after I watched. It. I just recently watched it. I literally watched it before the podcast. I wanted to ask you: Did you see Seven Pounds, the movie, which is the recommendation? 
Yeah, he told me the night that the same night he suggested Peanut Butter Falcon, the other movie he suggested was Seven Pounds. So I did watch both out of respect for Joey. Oh, so you did see Seven Pounds. I did. I did. Okay. What did you think about Seven Pounds? I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. Okay. I thought it was okay. I I would not go. I would not watch it again. I'm with you. I thought it stunk. I, 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 I really, I, Joe, I, I. (laughs) I knew why you were doing it. The message was there, but it was just so dragged out. And you felt at times that it was going to pick up. I don't even think, and that girl that he was with was gorgeous. I don't even think the romance part of it was that, was even that great to it. I just thought it was very, um, just very dragged out. And it took a while to get going. Now, I think the end is definitely a feel good end the way that it all kind of pans out. I actually really enjoyed that, like the ending of it and how it all happens. It's sad, but it's happy at the same time. It just wasn't for me. Um, I'm going to give seven pounds, a four bagel review. I'm giving it, I'm giving it. And that should be the line of Bobby blockbusters. Bobby Blockbusters, it just wasn't for me. <laughs> I mean, we can coin that phrase and just link it to. Yeah, somebody's second. gonna do that in a meme. Some somebody. Gonna, yeah, picture of Bob like this. <laughs> like, is it a picture of Bob like this? Bobby Blockbusters, it just but, wasn't for me. Do you know what bothers me though, Mikey? Doctor. Is why maybe it's because Joe was so persistent on it. But if you had seen it. And 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 you thought it was just okay. Yeah, I thought we were at a little bit of a, a, a stalemate last week. So I think this week, though, we have a banger recommendation at one, and then I think we have a really good fallback play. This is terrific. I really, see, I really do think this. this is, I really this is think terrific. You I'm guys, really hoping you didn't see the number one. I'm season. praying to God he I'm hasn't. I'm really hoping it. he hasn't. But I, I want to say that I've heard him say he has seen it, but I'm not sure. Which makes me think that I I probably have have seen it. Um, okay, let's let it rip. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, the movie we're going to suggest it. Oh, please tell me you haven't seen it. Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks. Catch me if it. you can. I love that. Yeah, I I I I absolutely love that. I really did. I think Joe. You know, we should get some kind of bonus points when we pick a movie, unbeknownst to us, that Bob likes. We should get. Yeah, some I kind mean, of a bonus like, for that. I I still think that the average viewer, and and again, this is something we'll see in the comments, and I know it ain't an easy game. I think if the average movie movie viewer for what you guys have had to work off of. I think that if you look from start to finish of how you guys have played it, I would think they think that you guys did have, have done a very bad job. I'm being honest. I'm I'm, okay. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. If they That's saw right. the way you guys, and again, because a lot of the movies you'd recommend you've already watched, but there do you, you know there's so many out there, Joey D. I just started watching movies for the first time you in my life. You basically said you won't watch anything pre 2000 era. Well, I will, but it can't be like Raging Bull, like my dad always recommends I mean, every Bob, week. When it's, by I'm the way, your dad's a smart sorry, man. That's, Bob, that's, one, that's one of the best movies ever. Like, you, you, it's you, not that like I can't. I mean, if, if you're if, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, like you're you're a difficult suggestion. He, he is a difficult suggestion. No question about it. To make it seem like we're there's giving no bad question picks, about it. it's... I don't There's think... no question he's tough. He's tough. There's no... There, and a lot of these, I agree with that, by the like, way. I'm not debating that. Recommended oh, Inception. Really? Oh, well, he's already watched it. He didn't like it. Or why don't you watch this? It's like, I know a lot of the movies yeah. you've watched that you either like or don't like. So it automatically wipes out a slate of tons of movies that people DM us about already. Like, my DMs are... I don't know about you, Mikey V. My DMs are just all Bobby Blockbuster. I think that's terrific. I think that's great for the program. And the I, and I blockbuster think, DMs are out. Uh, they're outrageous. I, I get so many. We're doing outrageous. a bad job is pretty outrageous. I just think I, I'm curious what the people say. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think that the average person will look at it and not understand the sequence. For example, the jet. We could bring the jet. The jet thinks that you guys have done. The jet can't wrap his head around the suggestions that have been thrown. Does the jet out. know so, how many prerequisite movies sit, like? I, 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 let I jet think let Jet recommend a movie, like then. I, let I Jet think, recommend a movie. Call him. I think let's bring in the Jet. Jet made a recommendation of a movie that Bob would absolutely have hated. Which one? I forget. We're going to call it the Jet. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Let Jet recommend the movie this week. Hold on, Binyamin. 
Can you guys hear him? Bear down. Yes. Shake your head if you can hear him. Hold on. Hold on. Full dis- can I give you full disclosure? Yeah. I'm a hammer. Oh, no. Oh, Binyamin. Okay, Binyamin, gun to your head. You got the nod for Bobby Blockbusters here. Give me one movie that you would recommend. All right, I'm giving you Prisoners, starring um, Jake Gyllenhaal and the guy who plays Wolverine. Um, Hugh Jackman. I his name. Hugh Jackman. I'm a little Hugh... sauced up right now. Okay. Get yourself some Prisoners, pop some popcorn, and watch it. It's, it's a little, it's a thriller. You're gonna enjoy it. This is and then bullshit. After this week, you'll just be asking me for the Bobby Blockbuster segment. And this I'm gonna ask bullshit. you one more this was thing, prep. Jeff, because this I was can't. I have them on mute for some so reason. I don't know why, but I can see their yeah. reaction. Yep. Overall, yep. would you say that they've done? How do you think, from the movie recommendations that you've seen and what they've had to work with, how do you think they've done, Joe and Ben? <laughs> so I think they've done. They've done well only if. Like you were like a like you were like a movie critic or a thespian as they call it in the industry. But the problem is you are you, and they are giving movies for somebody who's like trying to like watch film and cinema. Whereas you, I agree. You for what you are, which is like uh, let me just talent. recommend the Fast like, and Furious, all eight of them. You know what I mean? like you need power. You need everything precision. Binyamin. So yeah. Not only are you right, I love Drunk Jet. I, I love sauce you might get some Oxford jet. Okay. Well I like that a lot. You got the prisoner's <laughs> pet right there. Um you're in for the Bobby Blockbusters right there, and we'll see you next week. Bye, Jack. Sounds good. Tell the boys I say hello. We'll do Yaman. By the way, I on, I this. recall Bear Down. Did you hear how fast did you hear how fast Jet recommended that movie? It was instantaneous. You're going to tell me this wasn't a fixed job, Bob. Premeditated. Bob. This wasn't, wasn't a doctored a doctored call. You guys I brought. I didn't even bring up the jet. You guys you did bring up, up the. You brought the jet. You brought, up. You up, brought the jet. up. I you said up the jet. jet. You said even jet doesn't like your movie suggestions. And then you were like, and well, you know what? And I. Yeah. Well, jet jet has been recommending movies to me for sure. So I knew that oh, he would have a not movie on this ready. segment. He hasn't. Do you guys want to take the jet recommendation? I mean, uh, at this point, we is, have Jet to. Makes it sound like we're we're Jet makes it sound like we're suggesting Citizen Kane, Orson Welles, Citizen yeah, Kane. Yeah, it's not like I. We're, I we gave Bob Equalizer, and he said it's Casablanca too much action. Like, yeah. what are we talking about? Yeah, it's not like so I we narrowed with, it down uh, to a specific genre, which is the feel good, like heavy hitters, early and often. By the way, we're breaking through that. We have our own. Take Jet's recommendation. You can watch The Prisoners. I guarantee you the movie we're going to give you, you're going to like more. I, wow. Joe, I Let's love go. this. Let's I, go. By all Good for means, you, go Joe. Ahead. Good for Good you. For you. Our right. movie I... that we're giving you this week, Christian Bale, Matt Damon, Ford versus Ferrari. Let's you watch go. that, and I guarantee you, you're going to tell me it's Sports better. Sports related. I love Somewhat. this. Let me tell you something, Joey D. I love that tenacity, and you know what? I think you're making the right move, not letting it go through Jet. We spent 20... No, you can let... Watch, watch Jet's movie and then you tell us... That's a better one. That's a better one. Let's. That's actually more entertaining. Watch The Prisoner, rate it on the bagel scale, and then watch Ford vs. Ferrari, the cutsy Mikey V play, and rate that on the bagel scale. And By whoever the way, has the most has bagels had wins. had The Prisoners in the chamber for? By the way, oh, I mean... Oh, the way he came out with come that? out week after week, you know? You might drop 20 on a hard court one time and everybody's impressed. Do it week after week and all of a sudden it seems a little bit tougher. I haven't even seen. I haven't even heard of Ford vs Ferrari, which is interesting. Well, it was an and I like that's a big time. That's a big okay. time movie. So, that's a big time movie. You got it right there, Bobby Blockbuster, Ford vs Ferrari, fellas, top five. Joey D, I think this is a really good top five. I'm excited about this top five. The only thing that I worry about is us having similar ones, which might take place to a degree. I think there'll be a little bit of a mix. Joey D, tell the folks what we're going to be doing. Top five. In lieu of the March Madness week, which we are embarking on, I thought it had to be done that we did a top five that circled around college basketball. I know we normally like to do the food. This is a this is a special occasion. And so what we are doing, and by the way, this is gentleman's code of honor because we were going to do a timeline, but it makes it a little bit difficult. Top five most exciting NCAA basketball players that we've watched in our lifetime. I really hope nobody's going to be doing Bill Walton. I really hope nobody's going to be doing any of this. Because well, we Mikey V might actually, 
Mikey V. By the way, you're saying that, Joe. The one that would do this is Mikey V. Like, Mikey yeah. V made a joke. Like, him doing <laughs> I said, I'm like, this guy's going to bust out Dr. J. You know what I mean? By the like, way, there's no doubt, Bob, that you know after the music that I always stick to my guns. And I'm not trying to appeal to the masses. I'm going to say what I feel. It's not, about, and what it's I not think. about It's not about you, though, Joey Day. Why Why do we got to make Why do you got to make this about you? I'm it's just not saying about you, that if we're, if we're looking... If we're looking at each other and deep down reflecting on whether or not we're going to take a pick that might appeal to a mass audience, there is no way that I could be guilty of that. And do you think that me and Mike V are? I'm not going to say anybody in particular, but I think that there might be at times some picks that relate more to a certain common group of people wow. that we're likely to vote them in. Now, this is very interesting. Who are you talking about, Joey D? No, I don't think it needs to be specified. <laughs> All I'm saying is that look deep within each other, and I hope that the picks are unbiased. Sky, man. <laughs> oh. He's wow. popping off at the mouth. He can't even keep a straight face. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You got to watch the YouTube. Would you like me to start with my top five? Oh, no. I would love it. Okay. Oh, why? Why? Well, I just don't want to be called on cherry picking again. Oh, yeah, the cherry picker. Go ahead. You can start again, but I better not get called for cherry picking this week because it's, it's so very clear. convenient when you hear all options. Ahead oh, of you. fuck off! He's gonna he's gonna want to go first, and he's gonna <laughs> buzz. Look, I got the two spot. You take it okay. away, Joey D. I'll start us off at number five. I'm gonna put a guy. I don't think either of you have in their list, and I, to be honest, he didn't really pan out at all. In a professional, how could he say that he doesn't think it, we have the guy on our list? Un- how is it that really fucking is. It's possible? Un- it's if it's from the era of college basketball we watch, it's, how could you say you don't think? He's I don't on think you're going to have him in the list. Okay, I mean, that's both fine. of I us have it on the list. I have him oh, on my list. I hope we Even both. if I don't fucking have him on I'm my list, I'm taking a guy who didn't really pan out on the professional level. Go ahead. But in college, I would say when I watched college basketball, this guy did it for me. He was electrifying. He could shoot from everywhere, and he was kind of like the Johnny football of NCAA for a little while. I'm going to go at number five with hold Jimmer Fredette from BYU. Bob, why you look like so shocked? I don't have him, but I was very close to putting him. Thank you. I you don't have him. But I, yeah, oh, but Joe, I, I was this close though. I, Mikey, I mean, I'm, I was. I'm, I'm shocked you don't have him on your list. Yeah, I was this close. I was this okay. close to putting Jimmer okay. Fredette. Jimmer I was Fredette, very close. when he played for BYU, Tremendous. He would just shoot from everywhere. It was yeah, so wild. exciting to watch him. Now, yeah. I know he didn't pan out like professionally, but this is about college basketball, and I would be remiss to not have him on my list. Shanghai He's at Sharks. Number five. At number four, I'm going to put a guy who, who, was, who, was, who was super successful in college, played for UConn. I'm going Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker not only – just dominated the Maui Gym Series. He won an ace, uh, a national championship. He was the most valuable player. He was electrifying. He was unreal. And like coming into the pros, I thought he would be much better than what he did out, actually pan out to be. But Kemba Walker, at number four. Number that, three, that run he – sorry to cut you off, Joe, but that run he made with UConn to the finals of March Madness, when they really weren't expected – they weren't expected to go that deep into dominated, it. dominated, man. was amazing. He was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, at number three, I'm going to put a human highlight reel, and I, I think actually you both probably have him on your list. This guy, I mean, you think highlights, you think fucking big-time TSN top 10 moments. This guy personifies it. Blake Griffin from Oklahoma at number three, I thought was unbelievable. Dunking, he almost, he was averaging almost 20 and 20 before he left. I mean, when he was with Oklahoma, I mean, he's unbelievable. And then it translated to the NBA, too. The guy was incredible. Um, then at number two, all right, at number two, I'm going to put a guy, Kevin Durant from Texas, man. This guy was the only 2007, he was in 2007, the first Naismith player of the year as a, as a, as a June, what is it? Uh, what do you call it? The rookie, like the first year of college? Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're freshman year, freshman, freshman, true freshman, freshman, true freshman. freshman. See in Canada, in Canada, we don't say freshman, sophomore, junior. We don't do all that. What do you do? I always get mixed up. (laughs) That's all. Awesome. What do you call them? I don't. We call it grade eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you, so in Canada college, they go by grades. No, I'm sorry. I'm saying in high school. In college, you're just in college. You're just like first year college, second year college. They they don't have names for it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's wild, man. That's fucking wild. That's Joe fucking not wild. knowing that what a what a freshman is is no, I know crazy. freshmen, but I you know the ones yeah. I know freshmen, but you know the ones I get I know senior and freshman, the ones I get confused are the sophomore junior. I don't know which one's which. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, that's really that that is wild. There's so many things now that like and Bear Downs kind of made me aware to it, just like when he's called it out. That I realize with Joey D, a lot of it is just from where he grew up. That it makes me realize how different America and Canada is. I kind of always consider them somewhat of the same thing. There's well, a they're, they're not, we're not like completely different, but there's there's a lot of there differences. Are just, there are concrete differences for yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. All right. Number. Wait, two. Joe. Can I ask you one more question? <laughs> Yeah. Like in Canada, do they think you're like a wild? Like, like, do they look at you the way we look at you in in America? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm walking down the street, people are looking no, at me like, what? no, like, like, oh. like, like crazy. Like, I think you're crazy. I think you're. Yeah, I, think I mean, you're, you're nuts. If you're crazy, you're universally crazy. People, my okay. friends think I'm crazy too. They do. Okay, I was just. That's what I was. That's what I was honestly curious about. Yeah. All right. Number two, Kevin Durant from Texas. All right, the guy was shooting. Uh, he was shooting forty seven percent from the from the from the fucking floor. The guy was unbelievable, and ended up being the number number two overall pick. I was gonna say number one, but it was it was who was it, Bob? Do you know? Um, the Kevin Durant year, biggest flop number one. Maybe oh, of all time. it's gonna be Greg Oden is the name. That's you're correct. For. Ohio State Bear Downs, a beloved yeah, a Ohio knee, State. A lot of knee trouble. A lot, yeah, a lot of knee troubles. Well documented. <laughs> and then at number one, I think. I mean, I just I have to put him here. Number one, he set the NCAA record for most threes in a single season. Shot almost fifty per, over fifty percent from three point range. Steph Curry from Davidson. This guy was unbelievable. And basically, put a put a small school like Davidson on the map. Like to me, I was watching this guy and I was like, this guy's like a hundred pounds soaking wet, just chucking the ball from everywhere. He was unbelievable. So fun to watch. That's my top five. Yeah, I think the cur I mean the curry thing. Mike, do you have any issues with that list there? Uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I no, you no, know no. what I'm happy about though, Joey D, is I, I it makes me realize I do think we'll have different lists. Like to me, me a too, lot I of those guys I don't think I have a single guy off Joey. Yeah, to me, like a lot of those guys, they definitely like panned out, but like they're not like what I thought about when I think of like the prime college basketball. For me, five, and again, this is a guy that never panned out. I have a couple guys that didn't pan out. At number five, I got J.D. McNamara. You remember J.D. McNamara from I Syracuse? Do. do you remember him, Joey D? I and do he, not. You don't remember J.D. No, McNamara? He I was do. fucking awesome, man. He would pull I up I remember off Carmelo screens. Anthony from Syracuse. Oh, he would pop from anywhere. To me, he was one of my favorite, just entertaining college basketball players. I loved him. Um, and then at number four, go ahead and lock me in for Adam Morrison. Oh, Adam. from Charlotte Bobcats. He played for Gonzaga, right? Now, yes. I have, I have Morrison on my list. Yeah, I mean, he was that little porn he, stash he had was, he was pretty. Oh, he was he, yeah. was a, he was a terrorizer. That guy. He oh, was. He was. A, nobody man. wanted to deal with that prick. Nobody. Oh, it was so good. Um, and then number three, I got JJ Redick. JJ Redick was. Dude, I, I right? love. Yeah, I just. You know what it is with college basketball too, especially like Mark Mendes. You could put big guys in there, don't get me wrong, but something about the shooters that just pulled up from wherever and just couldn't miss, I think, make it so much fun. So, really, Morrison was only really the big guy I had in there. Um, but I got, yeah, I got J.J. Redick at two. At three, number two, I'm with you, Joey D. I, I got Jimmer Fredette at two. I thought Jimmer Fredette was the same man. thing amazing just pull up from anywhere um may, two I think guys B in his face he'd inbound the ball and just didn't matter suck it up i think he byu made a run byu definitely made he he made a run with them and then he was on the shanghai sharks but look that's neither here nor there <laughs> we love ourselves some jimmer for dead and we love ourselves some shanghai shark basketball um number one I'm with Joe as well. Give me Steph Curry, number one. That run with Davidson was just so much fun. Um, what did they finish in the Elite Eight or the Final Four? Yeah, the eight, yeah. To, they got to the Elite Eight. Um, did they get to it, the Final Four? 
I no? think it was Elite no, Eight. Was George really Mason. Good. George Mason was like that big, oh, crazy Mason. Final yeah. Four run. Um, yeah. Steph Butler Curry had a couple of big runs too. Yeah, who's Butler that? Did. Yep. Butler, Butler had a couple Butler. big runs. Butler had a few runs. Um, Mike V, I'm curious. Any first off, any issues with the list there? No, no. I'm curious where how a how many of those you have in there, and and Two. b what your list is. Two, um, five. Anthony Davis, Kentucky, mm-hmm. uh, one year, but monster year. Uh, four, a guy that to me embodied the Duke UNC rivalry uh, when I was in high school, and maybe getting out of high school. I think I was still in high school though. Tyler Hansborough. Yeah, North I Carolina. had him. I was talking I was with, him. with him too. Tyler Hansborough, the game against Duke when he got his nose bloodied and yes. he just kept I, that. That's like an iconic memory of me, memory for me of college basketball growing up and, and watching that rivalry. That was like a big thing. Uh, three, Carmelo Anthony, the run with yeah. Syracuse. I remember that run with Syracuse. Carmelo Anthony was was, I mean, everybody was like him and LeBron were going to be. Now, uh, Carmelo had a great NBA career, not selling Carmelo short. He didn't have a LeBron career, but LeBron is arguably the best ever. Uh, but Carmelo Anthony, certainly the, Syracuse won the national title because of Carmelo Anthony. Um, number two, Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison, Gonzaga, the terrorizer. I got him a two. Uh, I thought he was annoyingly great. And then number one, th- to me, he embodied – just that guy that was just the, the the guy that you never want. Nobody wanted to play this guy. And to this day, I understand Steph Curry, the best shooter ever. But in college, I just, every time J.J. Redick got the basketball, especially if the game was in Cameron Indoor, it felt like he could shoot the ball from, from half court. And he would make it with, like, when he released the ball, you thought it was going in every single time. I never saw anybody like that really up until that point uh jj reddick and on top of that how psychological he was how much he pissed people like these other fan bases could not fucking stand him him, which is kind of why i and i'm not a duke fan by any means but i like jj reddick i thought jj reddick was fucking awesome so jj reddick is at number one most iconic for me that is true, and and fan bases hated him, and I don't really know. He wasn't like a showboat, right? Like, I think it was yeah, just because of Duke. Oh, was no, he? he was. He was a loudmouth. Yeah, he, he wasn't was a, he as was... bad as – who's the kid that just came out no, recently? No, not as bad as him. Everybody hated him. Um, um, he checked with a G, I think. Uh, I know exactly who you're come talking on, about. Come on, from Duke. The name, he... the name just escapes me, but I know exactly who you're talking about. It's He's gonna... not as hated as he is. No. It's going to kill me. Grayson, Grayson Allen. Allen. There Grayson it is. Allen. Yeah, Grayson, Grayson Allen. Allen. Uh, to me, Grayson Allen. But you know, Allen he's calmed is, down a lot in the NBA now. Well, I, mean, well, I think because he's not that good. Yeah, you're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna pull that shit up there. Yeah. He was. Honorable he was dislikable. Honorable mention. If my honorable mention gets shown, are we? Do, if my honorable mention gets shown in the top five, my, like on the graphic, my top five is buried because I don't think anybody's <laughs> gonna know this guy. There was a guy, and a lot of people don't know. I'm a huge Miami Hurricane fan. Family went there. Huge, huge Hurricane guy. Me and my dad used to watch a guy for for Miami. His name was Jack McClinton. He was one of the best shooters I've ever seen in college. Didn't make a run with Miami ever in the playoffs. This guy would pull up from anywhere, and he was so good, and he's all Miami had. The name is Jack McClinton. He got drafted in the second round by the Spurs, never ended up panning out. That's my honorable mention. Out of respect, Joey D. I toggled with a couple. Um, I, I'm Both are unreal. The the one that I'm going to omit it was Chris Paul with Wake Forest, but the one great, I'm good at Great pick, in- Joe. Chris Paul, Wake Forest, almost made my five. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I the one Paul, that I'm going to go Paul with, though, simply because we talked about electrifying players, I'm going to take John Wall from Kentucky. I, I mean, you I talk about a guy yep. who is as fast. And I, I had him or Kemba Walker, like, lined up. This guy could get from one – he literally inbound the ball after the team scored and was down shooting the layup before the team could even get back. He was so fast, so electric, and so – so unbelievable. It's a shame that he's fallen off the fucking precipice. But John Wall's my my honorable mention. And Mikey V, we sent it up. By, by the way, this was that that's a fun <laughs> talk about Mikey V. That's all Drew Timmy. Got. Drew Tim Drew Timmy is uh I almost went with like the Loyola guy with the mustache, and I almost went with Big Country. But Drew Timmy is one of those guys that's just he embodies college. Basketball. By the way, Drew, Drew Timmy played for Gonzaga for 16 years. 
I've never fine. seen a guy He's that still just on the team this and year. you know what? That's like uh Are that's you like our kidding? that's like yeah, yeah he's he on is. the team this yeah, year, Bob. Team you this year. gotta yeah. be kidding me. Yeah, yeah. Are, is he he's, seriously? I think this is his last year. It is Thank because you. of COVID. He's, I Joey think D. This, this is this is his freshman year. <laughs> it's his eighth year of college. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's collecting he's Social Security. Wilder of year. NCAA basketball. Is, is he really back? He's on the team. I'm Jen and I. Jen and I bet on on Gonzaga. This was like earlier this year on and on the game. He's on the team. That's it really amazing. that reminds me exactly of uh the Raiders got uh, the Raiders slot receiver who played at Clemson who I swore it felt like this guy was there for 20 Hunter Renfro Hunter Renfro, Hunter, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Yeah. Yeah. it felt like he was at Clemson for 20 years like for he had sure. played the entire 2010s Oh, I love doing those names. We and Jeff will do that a lot. The college basketball players, it seems like they have played forever, or even like the football players. Like, remember the guy? I think it was like John Ellis from Kansas. There was like an Ellis guy who was there just forever. Um, yeah, good one. Good, good on you, Joe. Because that's just it's a damn good top five. It really is, yeah. and there will get a lot of buzz in the comments for that. I like fellas. ones too, where you have a lot of options. Like we really didn't have like similar picks by any means. I think the sports. The sports top five's got to make a little bit of a resurgence. We try to do the food a lot, but the sports ones, there's a lot of low hanging fruit there that we could be, you know, we could be enjoying. Nothing better than a sports top five that is mix and match. A lot of sports top five sometimes we have the same stuff. That that was perfect. And by the way, clap it up, fellas, because that's a damn good, nice, powerful episode. Um, we will see. I want to do next- top five jerseys one time. I want to do that. We need to do that. Top five, five jerseys. Top five jerseys. I think will hit across all sports, Joe. I think that will hit top five uniforms. Top People five uniforms can definitely come. Um, and folks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, give the five stars. The boys just keep on rolling. We love you, folks. We appreciate you, folks. Joey D, Mikey V, and myself. We will see you next time. That's another edition of the Berlin Dome Show.